All right, I am Nifty Thrifty Girl, and this video is going to feature a vintage Kenmore model 1601. Um, and I do apologize if things get a little blurry while I'm moving the camera around. I don't have focus while the video is recording. So I do apologize if it gets a little fuzzy, but when I come back out to sew for you, it should be clear just as you see it. Um, as I said, I'm Nifty Thrifty Girl. We find, restore, service, vintage machines of all makes and models. Kenmore, White, Singer, Dressmaker, Viking, I mean pretty much anything that's in nice usable condition. We try to save them from the scrap heap because these machines definitely do not belong in the scrap heap as much as the new machines do in my opinion. But this is a uh, 1601 Kenmore. This is a super high shank machine. Uh, as you can see, it has the top slot foot. Um, it uses class 15 bobbins, 15 by 1 needles. Cosmetically, it's a little dinged. It's got some pox in the, in the deck and along the front. It's the typical 17 inch long deck, which means it can be used just as you see it on the tabletop or it has to be put in a Kenmore cabinet or case. This will not fit in your universal carrying cases or your Singer cabinets or carrying cases because it has a longer deck. This machine has one, two, three, four built-in stitches plus it has the capability to use the cams. It does come with a box of 14 cams including both regular and reverse or stretch patterns. A few super high shank feet, stained chain stitch accessories, and a couple other little doodads, bobbins, and a copy of the instruction manual will be emailed to you in PDF format once you purchase. This is an all-metal machine with a 1.2 amp motor, and it was top of the line of its day. Very similar to the model 1802, and um, it has multi-point zigzag, straight zigzag, and blind stitch built in, and everything else is created by your cams. And it's just serviced and delivered, ready to go. And here we go. Oh, yes, and before I forget, of course, it has the classic Kenmore presser lift. Phenomenal. This one only goes five. Some go six. And the feed dogs are all the way up. So, lots of room under there to fit your project underneath. We'll start with a basic piece of fabric. There's your straight stitch. And switch over to the same And I will put in a stretch cam just so you can see it. Do it stretch stitch, and of course you have to put it on the cam setting on the selector knob. Cams fit tight, so make sure you just be patient, because cams fit tight. There's a small, medium, long knob, and that adjusts I'm sorry, not small, medium, long, short, medium, long. And that adjusts your pattern as you sew. See the fabric up and back there, doing your stretch. You do also get these uh, fabric samples. All right, I'm going to take the stretch cam back out so it doesn't mess with my sewing later. And we're going to sew a Levi's pocket, seams and all, using a size 18 needle. Right over the seam, like it was nothing. Even over five layers of seam, you saw that. And you know, I've said it before, and this is 10 layers of cotton, I don't understand why you would go out and spend 
15, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 on a Bernina or a FAF or something computerized that one month after you buy it, it's going to be in the repair shop. And guess what? It takes months to get parts for these new electronic computerized machines. So after you pay a couple grand for your sewing machine, it's going to see more of the repair shop than it is of your sewing bench, seriously. So for a very teeny tiny fraction of the cost, just a couple hundred dollars, you could have an all metal vintage machine that is going to work for you 12 hours a day, 7 days a week, and not need the inside of a repair shop ever. You can maintenance it at home yourself. You can do everything. And yeah, you can't just push a button and walk away, but to me, if you're going to sew, you're going to sew. So, you know, I, I just never understand the, let me go spend $4,000 on a sewing machine, and then it goes right into the repair shop. And if you look around, and if you read some reviews, you're going to find out that I'm telling the truth on that. Perfect stitch on 10 layers of cotton. And last but not least, we're going to do a couple layers of tumbled garment leather. And you know, seriously, I don't get it. Feel free to email me, momsdragonwagon at gmail.com. See my eBay listings, I'm Nifty Thrifty Girl, and you can email me that way. So what you see is what you get. A working, serviced, vintage, all-metal machine delivered right to your door, ready to go. This is the Kenmore 1601.